So you have a book coming out in November, correct? I do, I do. Um, it's the, actually the first in a series. Uh, I've written five legal thrillers, and I decided to do something a little different. So I'm writing a book called My Sister's Grave, okay. and it's with a uh, female Seattle homicide detective. Uh, never done that before. Obviously, I'm not a woman, uh, not a homicide detective, and never did criminal law. But it's really been exciting. Um, I have a contact in Seattle who is the first female homicide detective in Seattle. And it's been really, really interesting and, and, and really fun, both, you know, writing from a different perspective, but also writing a different type of book, you know, writing a, a police procedural type of book um, with a really strong background with these two sisters, one of whom disappears 20 years earlier, and now we're in the present, and they have found the body. And so it's been really fun. I have four sisters, and so I grew up with the... Uh, oh. Yeah, I grew oh, up so with you the, understand the female perspective, <laughs> so this, this shouldn't be too difficult for you. Well, you know, I, I have four sisters that are we're all professionals. My mother's a professional. I work in, a, in an industry with a lot of very professional women. And, and the thing that I've come to realize, and really I think I tried to emphasize, is that I, I honestly believe women are much stronger than men. I, mean, I think so too. Yeah. No, I, I really, I really do. I just think they're emotionally much stronger than men, and they handle things a lot better than men do. And so this is actually probably the strongest character that I've that I've ever written, and uh, I'm excited about it. And and people that have read it, the arcs are out now, are excited about it. And um, you know, I, I just, I, I just hope that uh, that readers enjoy it as much as I enjoyed writing it. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. No, very much. And um, besides being an author, you're also a practicing attorney. How, where do you find the time to yeah. do everything? Yeah, um, it, it's difficult at times. Um, you know, my, I'm writing a sequel, my agent, I just asked my agent, when would you like it? She said yesterday, uh -huh. uh, that ain't gonna happen. Um, but, um, you know, it's, it's hard, I'm very disciplined. I, I, try to, I try to have set hours, but I'm also a father, I'm also a husband, you know, like, yeah. like everybody. I mean, you know, and it's, I'm not gonna complain about it, you know? It's, yeah, you have to find the balance. Yeah, I mean, everybody has that in their life. Everybody's, everybody's doing different things. But I do have set hours when I write, and, I, and, and my family respects that, and that's, yeah, that's when I can try to get most of my stuff done. And, now, and you also teach, correct? I do. Uh, I kind of fell into it. Um, basically, I was asked to teach uh, 10, 12 years ago at a conference in Boston, and I, I was I was puzzled. I mean, I, I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, obviously, I was a newbie writer, but I'm also a lawyer, so I'm anal retentive. And so I prepared for a four-hour class. I prepared an 80-page outline. Oh, yeah, yeah, because lawyers are all about out, outline. Well, it's about being prepared, right? And so I taught this class on character development. And it really went over well. And more than that, I really enjoyed it. I have a background in theater, did a lot of theater in San Francisco, and I think that's probably part of it. But I really enjoyed the interaction with the students and, and, and that one-on-one -on -one that we got. And I've been doing it ever since. And I teach all over the United States now. Um, I teach a four-day novel intensive called the writing, writing the, no the Novel Writing Intensive. Um, and it's, 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 some, it's a passion. It's really, it's really a love. Do you feel like it enhances your writing process? Oh yeah, oh, yeah abs I mean, great question. Absolutely, because I mean, the more the more I pay attention to my mistakes and and my the things that I do wrong. For instance, I'm very good with my eyes. My characters are very good at what they see, but I've actually written entire scenes in an Italian restaurant with not a single smell. Uh, <laughs> you know, for the whole scene. Yeah. And so it, I, I recognize that it's something that that's my weakness. That's what I need to do better. And so when I'm teaching, what I'm really teaching a lot of times is my mistakes. You know, don't make this mistake. Don't have a flashback in the first scene unless you do it the right way. Don't put in a biography. Don't dump in all your research. You know, um, don't have the, the, the mistakes that we make a lot of times in dialogue. And, and, and by doing that, it's a very practical, structured method of, of writing. Um, I think there are a lot of extremely talented people out there that write extremely well, but they make these mistakes that get them bumped out of the game before they ever get a chance to have their book read in full. And so my goal in the class, what I tell them is, I want them to be rejected on their writing. Right, you know, because if right. somebody says to them, geez, you know, I read your book the whole way through, uh, but it just wasn't right for me, it's going to be right for somebody. That's great advice. Thanks. Well, thanks so much for speaking with us, and good luck on your book coming out in November. Thanks very much. I appreciate it very much. Thanks for having me.